DSCSA for the phase one implementation that required the, the pharmaceutical companies and wholesalers to exchange uh, lot level transaction histories between each other was at face value a simple task. All you had to do was exchange one file with every shipment that went from one party to the next party. We ran into so many different issues having to do with all the different types of business practices companies have, all the different means by which they exchange information, the systems that they had to integrate with. What we learned and what the industry learned is just doing one transaction between two parties was extremely hard. But when you get to serialization, it is an end-to-end -end problem. Now it has to go back all the way into the manufacturing of the product not just the sale of the product. It has to go from the manufacturing production through your warehouse operations and going out to your customer. The number of hops and jumps that have been made through the supply chain are significantly more. The amount of transactions are another order of magnitude more. There's probably 10 that have to occur from provisioning serial numbers to commissioning them to aggregating them to doing the pick pack ship and then, then sending them out. On top of that, the volume of data is orders of magnitude more, probably thousands to tens of thousands of more because in one case you're just sharing you know, information about the fact that I'm, I'm selling you in the transaction history, I'm just sending you, you know, 10,000 units. Here, I have to manage hundreds of millions to billions of individual serial numbers all the way through that process. In the DSCSA lot level Gen 1 deadline, unfortunately, most companies didn't start till September, October. And I think what they all learned was that that one transaction between one party was extremely hard to do. In order for the industry to be successful, I think we all have to recognize that we must start now.